Hello and welcome to Matt's Reloading Bench. Today I'm going to be shooting my 6.5 PRC made by Christensen Arms. It's the MPR model. I'm going to be shooting 10 shot ladder tests using both Retumbo and H1000 powders and a combination of four different primers. So I actually have eight different ladder tests that I need to shoot. Okay, I've got my lab radar set up so that I can get the velocity information as I'm going up in the powder load for each ladder test. Ooh. What I'm going to be looking for is flat spots on those nodes to see if there's any areas that I can concentrate on just doing five shot groups for one tenth of grain increments where it's going to have consistency across the board and that way I can really dial in my extreme spread and standard deviation. The first combination I'm going to be doing is the Retumbo powder with the CCI 250 Magnum large rifle primers. I'll be starting at 55.8 grains and working my way up to 58.5. In front of you I have a chart that I created using the muzzle velocity data in accordance with the powder charge. So there are two dips which I really don't see any use with. I've got one small flat uh, between 57.6 and 57.9 grains where there's only a two foot per second difference in the muzzle velocity. This might be something that I look at. I'm not sure yet. We'll see where it ends up in the end when I have a chance to look at everything as a whole. This ladder test is going to be with the Retumbo powder with the Winchester large rifle primers. My apologies, I lost some of the video footage, but anyway, I've got a really nice flat at the very low end of this ladder chart, but it's way slower than what I'm hoping to use. I've got a dip at about 2,900 feet per second. Once again, nothing promising, so I'm just going to move on to the next combination. This 10-shot ladder test group is going to be with the Retumbo powder and Federal 210 primers. With this powder and primer combination, I've got a little bit of a flat between 57 and 57.3 grains of powder hovering right around 2900 feet per second. Nothing super promising, so we'll see what we have with the next load group. This 10 shot group is going to be the Retumbo powder with the Federal Gold Match uh, Magnum primers. This powder and primer combination has a lot of promise. At the last three shots on the top end of the 10 shot ladder test, I've only got a six foot per second difference muzzle velocity between the three. And it's a nice flat, slow curve, if that makes any sense. But this is definitely something that I'm looking for. And it's definitely something that I am going to go ahead and load up five shot test groups in 10th of a grain increments in that range. This test is going to be with the H1000 powder with the Federal 210 primers.
This is the most promising powder and primer combination yet. At the top end, with the last three shots, I think I've hit the holy grail. Between the six tenths of a grain of powder, I've got one foot per second difference in muzzle velocity. I can't wait to load this up and see what I can get for standard deviation and extreme spread. This group is going to be with the H1000 powder with the gold match primers. With this powder and primer combination, I don't see anything that's really impressive. Granted, I do have a really nice flat between 2872 and 2878 feet per second at the 55.9 to 56.5 grain load, but it's not as high as I want in the muzzle velocity that I'm looking for. And then the big hump at the end, that's nothing that I even want to touch. This 10 shot group is going to be with the H1000 powder with the CCI 250 primers. With this powder and primer combination, I really don't see anything too promising within the realm of what I'm looking for. Yes, there are two flatter spots on here uh, at the 55.6 grain to 55.9, and then again at 56.5 to 56.8. But the muzzle velocities are lower than what I want, so I'm not going to bother with anything on this. This 10-shot ladder test is going to be with the Winchester Large Rifle Primers and the H1000 powder. With this powder and primer combination, once again, I really don't see anything promising. It's either going up or it's going down. I don't see anything that would constitute me using my resources to load up any five shot groups. Well guys, I've got all the 10 shot ladder tests fired off. I'm going to go down, grab my target, get home, download the data from the lab radar, and see what we have for results. Maybe we can start loading up some five shot groups in tenth of a grain increments with what we figure out. So now that I'm back at the house and I've had a chance to really go over some of the data, there's two loadouts that are very promising. One is the Retumble Powder with the Federal Gold Match Large Magnum Rifle Primers. And the other one is with the H1000 with the Federal 210 Primers. The Retumble had really good results at the top end uh, between 2957 and 2963 feet per second for muzzle velocity and that's over a span of six tenths of a grain of powder so that's a nice slow curve and I feel that there's a lot that we can work with there and with the H1000 and Federal 210 loadout I really think that I've hit the holy grail because I've been reloading for probably close to a decade now, and I have never had a situation where over six tenths of a grain of powder range that I've only had one foot per second uh, difference in muzzle velocity. So I'm going to be loading five shot groups at one tenth of a grain of powder increments with the H1000. Starting at 56.8 grains of powder and ending at 57.3 grains of powder. So that will give me 25 shots that I'm going to be testing between that range. And with the Retumbo powder, I am going to be starting at 57.9 grains and working up to 58.4 in five shot groups at tenth of a grain increments as well.
Now that I've got all my data together and I know what my plan is going to be moving forward with those two different powders and primer combinations, I'm going to go ahead, get my workbench cleared off. I'm going to have to take my brass and put it through the same nine step process that I always use. And I will get those five shot groups loaded up. And then the next video will be going to the range and shooting the five shot groups to see what we can get for standard deviation and extreme spread. Step one is depriming all my brass. Step two is uniforming all of the primer pockets. Step three is deburring the flash holes. Step four is going to be cleaning the brass, and while the brass is cleaning, I clean up my workbench. Step five is resizing my brass. In this process, I make sure that I'm getting about a two thousandths of a shoulder bump, and I'm resizing using a bushing die so that I get about three thousandths neck tension to the bullet. Step six is trimming the brass to length. And to do this, I always refer to the reloading manual and trim it to the preferred length that is listed. Step seven is deburring all the case mouths. Step eight is gonna be the final cleaning process, which is a two-stage process. The first part, I will clean all the brass in a tumbler using corn cob media. And the second part, I will clean it in my sonic cleaner and get it as clean as I can. I pat down my brass with a dry towel before putting it on the air dryer. It helps to eliminate water spots. Step nine is annealing all of the brass. Now that the brass prep process is complete, I'm gonna go ahead, move on to priming all of the cartridges using the two different primers, and I will make sure that I keep them separate on trays so that I don't get them mixed up. As you can see, I've got 25 pieces of brass primed with the Federal 210 primers and 25 pieces of brass primed with the Federal Gold Match 215 Magnum Large Rifle primers. I'm going to let my powder scale sit for about 15 minutes so that it can normalize. Um, I always do that anytime I move it and I'm going to use it. I will always let it sit for at least 15 minutes and then I will go ahead and zero it and fill it with powder and run the powder calibration and calibrate my weights and then I'll start measuring out powder for uh, loading the brass with the charge. I've got my Frankfurt Arsenal IntelliDropper all set up and I am going to go ahead and put the powder charge in all of the brass and then move on to bullet seating. I decided to modify my plan a little bit. How I originally had my five shot groups set up was between 56.9 and 57.3, where the top end would have been 57.4. And I got to thinking about it and I said to myself, why am I not going to 57.4? Um, it's not like I have to be super, super conservative when it comes to my powders or bullets. I've got plenty to do this. So I decided to do six five shot groups instead of just the five. So I went ahead and loaded all the way up to 57.4 grains with the H1000 using the Federal 210 primers. So I'm going to go ahead and get these seated and I will clear the powder out of my IntelliDropper and then get it set up with the retumbo. I will prime the five pieces of brass using the uh, gold metal 215 Magnum large rifle primers with the retumbo and uh, we'll go from there.
All right, I've got my press set up with my seating die uh, set at the exact same setting that it was for when I loaded the 10 shot ladder tests. And just to make sure that everything is still set up the same, I have the same slip of paper that I use to calculate what my bowling seat, my bullet seating depth is going to be in accordance to having it 15 thousandths off at a lands, uh, just for the sake of consistency. So I will always keep any notes that I make throughout the entire loading process. And once I find a load that is where I want it to be, I will take a new piece of note paper and I will put down all of the notes for the entire loading process, writing down every single thing that I did on every specific step so that there is no room for error and no room for question uh, it, when I come back to possibly loading this six months down the road. I'm not sitting there going, oh man, what in the heck did I do? I've got it all on paper. So with that being said, I'm going to seat my first bullet. All right, I've got it set at 2.338, which is where we had it for the uh, 10 shot ladder tests. So now that I've got that loaded and the seating die is set to where I want it, I will seat the rest of these cartridges. I've got all the five shot groups loaded up with the H1000 powder, Federal 210 primers, loaded between 56.9 and 57.4 grains of powder. And then I also have the uh, Retumbo loaded up using the Federal Gold Metal 215 Magnum Large Rifle Primers loaded between 58.0 and 58.5 grains of powder here. The next step is gonna be getting out to the range and firing off all these five shot groups. I'll be using my lab radar again to get standard deviation and extreme spread information along with average muzzle velocity because I want to find whichever five shot group is going to provide the best overall results including how big the group size is on paper at 100 yards. Just to recap, I've got everything loaded using the Hornady a tip, 153 grain. H1000 using Federal 210 primers loaded between 56.9 and 57.4 grains of powder. Five shots at each tenth of a grain interval. <clears throat> Retumbo powder with the Federal Gold Match 215 Magnum large rifle primers loaded between 58.0 and 58.5 grains of powder. Again, five shots each at each tenth of a grain increment of powder. So to this point, I hope that you've enjoyed this series for the 6.5 PRC with the Horn ADA tips. If you like my videos, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell so that you can get notifications for when the next video comes out. Until next time, shoot straight and be safe.